Yes, the build-up. Packed house at Angel Stadium of Anaheim. They wanted to see some great racing. They wanted to officially end the off-season, and all of that went down. And Phil Nicoletti had a great heat. He was in the main, straight up, and electrical problems plagued his bike. And the Club MX guys worked as hard as they could to get the veteran onto his gate spot. It wouldn't materialize that way. Mitchell Oldenburg, unfortunately, drilled his gate and had to play catch up, but he did do a good catch up. And how about the 17 year old rookie, Julian Beaumont with a flyer of a start and Levi Kitchen took the fight to him. Yeah, it was great to see him. Kind of a little bit opposite of what we saw in the heat race. A um, little nerves, but he came out to play. And I think for uh, the rookie, Julian, like this is something the, the fitness is going to come. He'll get there. And as I was saying our, uh, earlier with RJ feeling like he is the guy, he made a pass like he was that. But back to Julian, I think he had a great ride um, to be able to finish this thing off. But the battle was on for second, third, fourth, and fifth. These guys were all over playing musical chairs, and it was George Smith, the, the one that made his way up into that second position. Tell you what, if Jordan Smith can keep it all together this year, the speed that he displayed here at Anaheim, this is a really promising start. And maybe it may be a Jordan Smith RJ Hampshire championship fight, but don't discount these guys because the Pro Circuit Kawasaki men, they did well, but Nate Thrasher crashed as. James said in very similar fashion to what happened to Cooper Webb in the 450 main. Yeah, that was a tough uh, hit for him. And uh, now the battle was on and we've seen uh, Max Bolin make his way up against um, Juju here. And you can tell this is one of those rookie mistakes coming in and he got a little nervous. And then the battle was on between teammates. Levi Kitchen thinks he was up front and things started going a little sideways, but he was able to recover and then uh, stay up in that third place position. Kitchen would say after the race that the nerves kind of got the better of him a little bit until he had to settle in. RJ Hampshire, look at that, had never won A1, and look how much it means. The 250 veteran finally has an A1 win, and you know the reason why we make such a big deal of it? Just have a look at the athletes. Have a look at how much it means to the riders themselves and a podium. Husqvarna, Yamaha, Kawasaki for a Hampshire Smith Kitchen podium. Outside of them, Joe Shimoda got off to an awkward start but had a heck of a comeback for fourth. Yeah, and it sounds like that's a broken record because we've yep. been talking about that for years. Only if he could get a good start and run up front, he could win these. And we saw that happen through the last year. At the end of the playoffs, he got on the roll. But yeah, tough night for him but he was able to come back up. Anthony Bourdon, the uh, French rider, finishing just outside the top 10.